I'm wondering how you can judge how popular the show is inside Iran. It's not a country of Nielsen ratings, of course. And one imagines even getting feedback to you guys could be risky on the ground. It is, but we get uh, we got we get lots of emails yeah. uh, from inside Iran, and we have also, of course our Facebook page, which is the most popular Iranian p page on Facebook. And the comments that people leave um, on our Facebook page and the email we get, um, the pictures that uh, people sent uh, to us. Uh, showing that um, majority of uh, families inside Iran are, are sitting and watching our shows uh, um, actually shows that um, that this show is very popular inside Iran. Yeah, Facebook well, is. I'm sorry, I, I just want to add that Facebook is banned inside Iran, and and for anyone to want to join it, 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 it it's a risk that they have to take. And even then, we have uh, close to 300,000 fans on Facebook considering that it's illegal in inside Iran. And the uh, interaction, if we, you can look at the insights, we get millions of numbers with, within the interactions and the hits that we get on our videos. And if we compare it to other popular shows, even within the United States. This whole, uh, uh, the show coming together, it's true that it came together on, uh, like, it's a bit of a cliche, really, the old napkin in a pub. Yeah, it, it did, actually. Um, <coughs> Combis was the uh, host of a, 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 a cultural show, and I, I used to be a video, ju video journalist traveling overseas and uh, Middle East quite a bit. Uh, but we got to a point where we, we just got together and we started mapping out a plan. Uh, and basically, we put down what we really thought we would enjoy doing mm. and what we already did when we hung out and talked to each other with our friends. And, and that, alcohol, though. Yes. Alcohol. Well, Fueled by Guinness, I heard. Guinness, yeah. Guinness <laughs> had a lot to do with it. We're still <laughs> waiting for that sponsorship, but exactly. we haven't gotten it yet. I'm curious how you watch what is unfolding now in your, uh, your motherland, uh, what you think. It's heartbreaking, of course. We just, uh, uh, they killed um, two people on the street t uh, three days ago. And one of them, uh, Mohammad Mukhtari, was uh, one of our hardcore fans mm. uh, on Facebook. We found that after, uh, after he died, we checked out his Facebook and we, we realized he'd been following our show. And wow. So we're going to be dedicating uh, this upcoming show of ours uh, to um, him and his family. Yeah. It's also encouraging, though. I mean, uh, this, is, you know, th this is a huge crack within the system. And people will not quiet, even if they uh, try to kill everyone on the street and try to, you know, put this thing uh, away for a few days, for a few months, it's going to come back up and resurface mm. again. But Dictatorships don't work. And but like I said, it's, it's heartbreaking to see that, uh, uh, that you lose one of your fans uh, on Facebook. Mm. You know, he, he, he was our, uh, one of our fans on our Facebook page, and we checked his profile, and he was sharing our, 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 sh our shows uh, on his uh, uh, Facebook profile. It's, it's like, <clears throat> I'm sorry, losing uh, one of your family members. I suppose even in, uh, in tough times, satire has a role, doesn't it? I mean, the, to, to, to make uh, the ridiculous obviously so. It does, but uh, <coughs> this is tougher than tough times, yes. actually. You know, when, when, when you have uh, people are d dying and they're getting shot, uh, there is nothing funny about it. Mm. So um, we, we have to switch uh, role and become a bit more serious. We keep our uh, informality. We, we, of course, um, uh, tell our stories. We change our narrative a little bit to, to become more and more and more informal, but not as funny as we were before. Yeah. Uh, brushing aside the violent stuff, uh, it's still ridiculous, and you have to laugh at it. You have Mr. Ahmadinejad, who's trying to change the world. He's trying to uh, change Egypt. He's trying to change Tunisia. He's trying to change the, uh, uh, Mexico. He's trying to change everything in the world. But one thing, I mean, he's promoting everything, freedom all over the world. But one thing he's not doing is uh, allowing it inside his own country. Mm. And that's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hypocrisy all over the government. Uh, in the last three weeks, all we heard from them was, oh, we're going to support Egyptian people, we're mm -hmm. going to support Tunisian yeah, people. Don't beat your people up. And when it comes <laughs> yeah. to their own people, uh, you know, they're oppressing and suppressing all the, you know, the youth and young people on the street, and, uh, and they're actually killing their own people. Oh, they quickly dismiss the whole thing, as yeah. if these millions of people don't have a voice, they're not out there in the streets, it's ridiculous. Yeah. It's funny, if you, if you watch uh, Iranian media in, in last uh, three or four days, uh, Iranian uh, protests, Iranian people protest on the street, on the streets of Tehran and other cities in Iran, 
uh, has nowhere on, 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 on the news uh, uh, program that they're producing and, and putting on air in yeah. Iran. So, yeah. but, but they're uh, giving a lot of coverage. Uh, they actually, they gave a lot of coverage to, to Egypt and Tunisia and other yeah. places. Yeah, uh, guys, great, great to meet you. Great to talk to you. And, uh, and good luck with uh, what you're doing. It's, uh, it's a fascinating show. Thank you, Thank sir. You Thanks much. for having us.